Today's video is going to be all about fragrances that I feel fit the cool girl aesthetic. So if you wanna find out more, then please keep on watching. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you're visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. As already mentioned in the intro, today's video is going to be all about fragrances that I feel have a cool vibe about them. They're kind of minimalistic, a little bit edgy, and they just have that slight je ne sais quoi about them. So I feel they're suitable for the cool girl aesthetic. So before we get started on the recommendations, I would love to know what your scent of the day is. Please do drop it down in the comments below because I'm always finding the most incredible recommendations through your comments. So without further ado, let's get started on the first fragrance. And that first fragrance is none other than Gris Chanel by BDK. And I personally feel that Gris Chanel is one of the ultimate cool girl, cool guy, cool everyone aesthetic fragrances. It's definitely minimalistic, but at the same time, it does have a wow factor to it. I feel like this suits very much the London vibe or New York, those kind of places. I bought Gris Chanel, I've told this story a few times, so sorry if you've heard it, but I bought Gris Chanel because I had a certain outfit in mind that I didn't feel like I had a fragrance that suited it. This is a while back now. And it was kind of leather pants, chunky Doc Martens, and this very structured blazer. And it was a very neutral outfit. And I felt like it needed a cool and kind of understated fragrance that still smelt expensive and I guess could give off slightly old money vibes. That's kind of just the feeling I personally get from this fragrance. Now, in essence, this is very much a sandalwood and fig based scent. And I feel like it is also best suited to the cooler weather. I definitely feel very put together, chic whenever I wear this. And I do truly feel like this is a very cool vibes fragrance. Let me know what you think. Are you a fan of Gris Chanel? And do you think that this gives off cool vibes? I'd love to hear your thoughts, but yeah, this was my first recommendation. The next fragrance was a no-brainer to add to this list, and it is none other than Lee Labo's Another 13. Again, I 100% feel like this gives off those cool vibes. It's not just cool girl, this is cool anyone, and all of the fragrances that I actually mentioned today are completely unisex, and this is definitely one of the most musky fragrances in my collection but it has lots of woody nuances to it, a little bit of pear up top, and it's definitely an ISO E super heavy fragrance. It has this very airy vibe to it, which a lot of ISO E super fragrances have, and it's definitely giving off those kind of molecule vibes. Now, I definitely smell this on myself when wearing it. However, I feel like these types of scent profiles definitely create a huge scent bubble and project beautifully. So everyone around you will definitely be able to smell this and it will have an incredible scent trail. But yeah, this to me is the ultimate cool fragrance. It gives that kind of paired back everyday kind of vibe. I wouldn't say this is necessarily suitable for a formal occasion or a date night, but don't get me wrong, I would wear this for those types of occasions too, but this is definitely for someone who is a little bit more minimalistic and definitely oozes those very put together, cool, laid back vibes. The next fragrance is from Armani Privé and this one is Magenta Tanzanite. And I feel like this fragrance is less predictable for this list, but I feel like suits those vibes incredibly well. This is one of the more complex fragrances on this list, but does give off very cool, effortless, laid back vibes to me at the very least. 
And this is a very cozy, slightly spicy fragrance with some coffee in there. And I just feel like this oozes cool vibes. You've got cardamom and ginger up top, giving it that kind of spicy bite to it. And then you've got cinnamon, you've got coffee, there's some tobacco in the base. You've also got some myrrh, and then you've got vanilla and tonka bean. And this fragrance just gives me coffee date or I am working in my local coffee shop and it's not a commercial chain coffee shop. This is definitely an independent store. I've got my laptop. I'm maybe writing or editing. I am that person that goes and works from a coffee shop or maybe I'm just reading a book in a coffee shop. Anyway, I'm that person. I'm very chilled. I'm maybe just wearing an oversized t-shirt with some baggy jeans and some sneakers. This is the vibe Magenta Tanzanite gives me. It's definitely more of a fall and winter fragrance to me. I definitely pick up the spices. I pick up the cardamom, the ginger, so the spices. I'm getting the tobacco, but it's a very sweet tobacco because the tonka bean and vanilla is there. The coffee is more of a dark coffee. This isn't creamy or lactonic. And then I'm also getting that cinnamon. Oh, this is just a delicious, delicious fragrance. And like I say, this is more of an unexpected fragrance for that vibe, but I feel like it is truly, truly fitting. And I can't wait to wear this one this fall and winter because it's definitely one of my favorite kind of complex, spicy coffee scents in my collection. Next up, we have Chloe Nomad Naturel, but I feel like any of the Chloe Nomads fit this vibe perfectly. When I think about a designer fragrance that fits this aesthetic, this is definitely one of the top ones that does come to my mind. It is very pared back. It's very cool. It's effortless. It's a little bit bohemian too. This scent reminds me of Coachella. I don't know why. I envision a kind of bohemian loose dress or like a white dress with cowboy boots. I've got loose tussled hair with some braids too and some chunky jewelry. That is the vibes I get from Chloe Nomad. And this is a designer scent that fits this aesthetic so well because it's not overly sweet. It's not heavily floral. It's not fruity floral either, like a lot of designer fragrances. So you do get some sweetness, which comes from the Mirabelle Plum and the dates. And then I do get some florals, but they are definitely laid back, paired back florals like Freesia and Jasmine. You've got some vanilla in the base too, but then what I mostly get is that sandalwood and that oak moss. If I had to pick out the key notes in here, I would say it's definitely that oak moss, it's the sandalwood and the date. I get a little bit of the plum, but not too much. Yeah, this fragrance is beautiful and it's giving me all of the cool vibes. I highly, highly, highly recommend this fragrance and yeah, it suits this aesthetic perfectly. The next fragrance was another easy choice for this video, and it is Cardamom Moss by EPC, which is the Experimental Perfume Club. This fragrance is all of the cool vibes, but you also have mega longevity and sillage. Everyone is gonna smell you wearing this, and it definitely just gives off that cool energy. I don't know what it is about it. Again, this has moss in it, so maybe there's a little bit of a tie with that earthiness that comes throughout a lot of these fragrances that I'm recommending. But you do also have some sweetness in here. So of course this has cardamom in here, as per the name suggests, but there is a caramel note in here, which is very delicious. It's not gourmand, it's not overly sweet, but it just cuts through some of those deeper notes in here, like the woods, like the cardamom, and like the moss. There's some ginger, there's some cinnamon, there's even some turmeric, but then there's a huge dose of ambroxin, which helps this fragrance project beautifully. It has the most incredible sillage, as I've already mentioned. People are definitely gonna smell you wearing this. Now, it has a slight hint of the Baccarat Rouge DNA, which is also another fragrance that I feel like suits this list really well. But this is 
Definitely different from Baccarat Rouge, but it has that underlying DNA, likely from the Ambroxin and the spices in here. So if you like that fragrance, but you want something a little bit more unique and something that will help you smell a little bit more different, then I would highly, highly recommend Cardamom Moss. I've reviewed this in a couple of other videos already. So if you do wanna see a more in-depth review, please do go and search on my channel. But yeah, highly, 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 Highly recommend cardamom moss. The next fragrance was another no-brainer. It suits this aesthetic so well, and that is Pure Musk by Narciso Rodriguez. I feel like most of the Narciso fragrances also suit this aesthetic really, really well. And Pure Musk also is a fragrance that would feature in my Clean Girl aesthetic. It's so universal, and it has that very laid-back, minimalistic vibe again to it extremely likable whenever i smell this on someone i think they just smell clean incredible fresh out of the shower but also like you want to give them a hug and that is how i would explain this fragrance it smells like a hug in a bottle or a warm fuzzy cashmere jumper that is just what i get Mostly this is a pure white musk. And then you have a cashmere and there is some light florals, but nothing crazy detectable. They're light, they're kind of watery, very, very airy. But I just get musk and cashmere. And it is a cozy sweater, as I mentioned. This would suit anyone, in my opinion. I would personally wear this more so to work or as an everyday fragrance this was always the fragrance i reached for when i was going to a big work event or a conference and yeah i just highly 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 recommend pure mask by narciso rodriguez or narciso for her that's another great fragrance that really does suit that kind of cool girl vibes so yeah pure mask by narciso rodriguez and last, but by no means least, I want to recommend Juliet Has A Gun Pear Ink. Another musky fragrance, but this time it has a sweet and juicy pear note in the opening. And this fragrance absolutely gives all of the cool vibes. And it's a very fresh and uplifting fragrance. Lots of ambroxin, which is a little bit of a theme within this video. Not in everything, but in quite a few of my recommendations. Now, this is definitely a very easy reach fragrance, in my opinion. It's an everyday fragrance. You grab it out of the shower, you go and run some errands, or you go to work, or you go for a coffee. Those types of vibes. But it also has this incredible sillage again, which is thanks to the ambroxin. Now, I do get that juicy pear in the opening. I will say the pear doesn't last throughout the life of this fragrance. What I'm mostly getting is the musk note, the ambroxin, which is like airy, slightly woody, slightly papery, if that makes any sense. And then there's a slight kind of amber, translucent amber in the base. Very, very cool vibes, very paired back, minimalistic, effortless this is giving me white t-shirt and a light kind of used jeans vibe i personally feel like julia has a gun has quite a few fragrances that suit this aesthetic really really well now the longevity on pear ink is not as strong as some of the other fragrances that i've recommended in today's video this one's a tad bit more fleeting i do get a good five to six hours wear out of it but this is just such an easy reach out of the shower fragrance as i've mentioned that's going to give you those kind of cool girl cool guy vibes jump out of the shower fresh so those were all of the fragrances that I wanted to recommend in today's video. Sorry they weren't in-depth reviews. This is more of a list, but if you do want to see more in-depth reviews on any of these fragrances, please do let me know down in the comments below. I have reviewed quite a few of these in detail already on my channel, if not all of them. But yeah, still please do let me know down in the comments because they will be included in upcoming reviews too. But I want to know what fragrances do you feel suit this aesthetic? 
What fragrances do you feel are minimalistic and give off that cool vibe? Please do let me know down in the comments below. You always give me the best recommendations and I find some hidden gems. So yeah, please do keep them coming. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure as always. I hope to see you in a future video to come. Thank you so much and goodbye. <laughs>